Hi, everybody. I'm excited. Are you excited? My name is Lost Prophet, and welcome to Season 2 of the Universe M by Crytivo Games. That's right, the Huff and Puff patch is here. We are playing in Alpha version 0025, and let me remind you that this is indeed Alpha gameplay. Now, this is by no means the final version of the game. And you may notice a little bit of the herky-jerky on the screen. That's, uh, that's due to the limitations of my machine, so uh, you'll have to suffer along with me. But let me provide you with a bit of a tutorial, and we can learn along together with the brand new stuff in the Huff and Puff patch. So let's go ahead and slide over here and start a new mother planet. All right, everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Mother Planet. We are once again going to play without tutorials because I'm going to provide the tutorial for you, which means we need to turn off pause mode once we get this area scouted out a little bit. There's a little bit of a mountain biome right here, even though there aren't any mountains. That's very nice. And there's a lot of mountain biome over here. So if we need iron and stone, we're going to be covered I don't think that'll be a problem. This in here is going to be so beneficial. But for right now, we're going to start our nuggets off right up in here. Plenty of wood, plenty of access to water, including this big old ocean right there. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing pretty good. So we want to stick our evolution tower down. I'm not entirely sure where. Let's see. Hmm. Right here looks good. Right at this big old ugly tree. We're going to get rid of that big old ugly tree. Yes. And put down our evolution tower. There we go. We've got five stone and five wood to start off. Here comes the love tower. It's going to get built really, 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 really fast. And of course, we are going to want to start researching stuff right away. The uh, primitive waterworks is going to give us our well, our pump, and our reservoir. The Primitive Tools is going to increase our Nugget Might. And the Clothing is going to give them a maximum health increase of 10. And of course, they won't freeze. And of the choices that I have, I think I'm going to go for Footwear first. That's going to do that. Now, these blue techs here, or these are your standard techs that you're going to want to get really quickly. And speaking of really quickly, guess what, kids? That's done. Now we can go over here to the build menu and go over here to the resources tab. This is the water pump. We are going to want to build one of these right here. And I'm going to hold shift, which is going to allow me to build more than one. And I'm also going to put one right down here. We are going to draw water from two sources to start this game off. And then, uh, you know what, beyond that, I don't know if we're going to want a reservoir or not. You know what, that's under resource management. I'll show it to you anyway. Here's the reservoir. This bad boy right here is going to hold a whole bunch of water. So if our pumps ever can't handle the demand or something happens to one of them, that will take over. So let's let our nuggets get about building all this wonderful stuff. And we will come back when we're ready to initiate the next phase of our brand new Season 2 Mother Planet. All right, it's time to talk about the next stage of basic tech research. Before I get there, though, the movement speed is going to increase by 5% for nuggets once I get the footwear research done that is going to be nice and beneficial to everybody involved. Now, here come the food choices and even a new choice. We're going to get into the new choice real quick. You can pick either Let the Hunt Begin, which unlocks the hunting hut and associated traps, or you can pick Fishing. I like to start with Fishing, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the tech tree, and we're going to unpause it so we can queue the rest of these up. Then I'm going to go for Cooking. Then I'm going to go for hunting, and then this is the new guy here. This is self-defense. This is the defense tower. This is a brand new mechanic that you're going to explore right along with me. And oh, by the way, cooking, that's going to give us the eatery. All right, our water pump is just about ready to go up here on what I am calling the south side of my civilization. Now, if we have a look at the water pump, it currently pumps out 30 water. 
and it shows you the uh, total water existing in the body of water it's attached to. You gotta watch you don't over pump these things. Same with fishing, but we'll get into that here in a hot minute when the fishing research is done. Now let's go see what else is going on up here. Well, we need just a little more stone to get our reservoir finished up, but our second water pump is indeed up and running. Now the nuggets are going to get to building the reservoir here shortly. And uh, we're going to get to building a fishing pier here in about 26 seconds. <laughs> That's going to be fun. See, notice this little berry bush right here? This is where a lot of your herbs comes from and some food. So we're going to, you know, leave that alone. Hopefully we don't build over top of that. Nuggets, well, see here? They're already putting up another stone hut right here. So they kind of build willy-nilly. You got to watch that. And uh, once we get this resource here, uh, yeah, that's just about done. There's the fishing pier. We're going to go ahead and attach our first fishing pier, which is found under Adaptation. Right here on this southern body of water. We're going to put that right there and let the nuggets get round to building that. There's plenty of stone around. The footwear research is done. That should give us access to some new stuff. We are going to go over here and do Tactical Evisceration. This is going to reduce the fish getting time in the fish hatchery by about 14%, which is going to produce food faster. We do not want divine punishment just yet. This is going to increase the possibility that your nuggets have twins by half. Oh, that's a scary thing, but not when you're in need of a population boost. So we'll deal with that later. Now, while we're waiting for all that business to happen, we want to come here to the epicenter tab and take care of a couple of essential buildings. First of all, we are going to throw up a well here. And then we are going to come all the way over to here and we're going to throw up another well. These are going to be clean water sources for nuggets to drink from. Now, another thing we want to throw up over here is going to be the engineers. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll put that over here right down below the well. Now, that's also in your epicenter tab. We're going to rotate them around. By the way, I'm rotating buildings with the Q key and the E key, but you can now change your key bindings in the settings menu. We're going to put an engineers there, and I forgot to hold shift, which allows you to build more than one of the same building. That's okay, though. We're going to go right back in here to epicenter. We're going to go right back here to engineers. We're going to flip them right around this way and lay them down. This is going to take a hot minute for my nuggets to build, and the eatery will probably be available. Now, let's see. The reservoir is going up. It'll be up shortly. And then uh, we'll be able to not only provide our nuggets with clean water, thanks to the wells, but nice cooked food once we get the eatery put up. Oh, looks like a couple of my nuggets are sick from drinking some bad water. We better take care of this. Now we're going to go into our creator powers menu and go into protection. And we are going to get out ye old god powers. Now we're going to hold down the control key. Remember you can change your key bindings now. And we are going to left click on the nuggets that are sick. And my magical god powers will heal them. In a future episode though, we'll get a hospital to take care of that. Now in the meantime, conveniently, the fishing pier is now finished. We're going to go in here. We are going to grab one of our many nuggets. Oh, geez. There seem to be just four of them. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. How do I still only have four? Hmm. I would have had more nuggets by now. But we're going to go ahead and assign uh, this guy right here to the fishing hut. We need food production in the worst way. Oh, looky. Looky, there it is. Oh, they're making babies. We are going to increase our population one way or the other. All right, and with tactical evisceration out of the way and this well behind it complete, we are going to go ahead and research iron stomachs, which is going to reduce the chance of them getting bad drinking water disease by 5% and also corpse disease by 5%. So now that our nuggets have at least one safe source of uh, drinking water, 
The other one's going to get built right over here, and you may notice the snow starting to creep in. It's fall, and this is a mountain biome, and I've noticed it's spreading outward from a central point right about here. This is actually pretty neat here. I didn't know it did this. The winter creep is coming. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, winter is upon us, and we are going to turn this engineer loose. Let's see who we got here. We got you, Taimashu. We are slowly building up a population. We have five adults, one baby nugget. I've got one fish here, and now one engineer. Now, the engineer huts, they are quite important because they are going to allow you to run around and fix buildings that fall into a state of disrepair. Like, for example, let's go here. This is one of our original stone huts. See this meter right here? This is, of course, your damage meter for the building. And uh, the nugget will come running and fix it when it gets to a certain level of decay. Thus, you are not popping up new buildings left and right. Looks like my other engineer hut is going up now, but we're not going to worry about that one right away because, again... Our population is pretty small. I think the biggest thing we're going to worry about right now is getting food production and food cooking out of the way. All right, the cooking research finished a while ago, so we are going to go into the epicenter, and we are going to pop out the eatery. We're going to rotate it right around here, and we're going to pop it right down. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to take the raw food, which you may have seen is right here for right now. This is our starting stash of raw food outside the Evolution Tower. They're going to take that, take it into here, and they're going to cook it. Oh yeah. We are going to have some, well, nugget happy meals. Let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, now that we've got our eateries started, we are eagerly, eagerly awaiting the completion of the self-defense research right here. That's going to happen in the next minute 45 for me, but a couple of seconds for you. All right, that was painless, wasn't it? The research is about to pop. Now, this is new to me, so you and I are going to learn right alongside each other. There it is. The research is complete. Let's queue up the next round, shall we? We're going to want the hospital, the cemetery... And the local business buildings, and I've already started this research here, which is enhanced digging. This is going to up the well refill speed as well as bump up the capacity of my wells by one. Now, I don't know much about the defense tower. Let's see if it's in epicenter. I don't know where it is. Maybe expansion. Watchtower coming soon. Ooh, spiffy. Oh, yeah, we need to build an archive. We'll do that in a second. Resource management, no. Adaptation, no, but that's where the hunter's hut is. Production, where is the defense tower? I've got the research. Hmm. All right, you know what? Until I figure that out, we're not going to let that slow us down. We are going to go ahead and plop down the archive and that'll be happening right about here. Now, the archive will enable our save game functions. That's going to be a good thing. Let's go over here and have a look at the progress of our eatery. It is almost done. We will have nuggets making hot meals for other nuggets. It will be a beautiful thing because our nugget society is apparently a communist nugget society. But aren't all agrarian societies at heart? I'm just kidding around. We're not really going to get into that kind of politics, but we're going to take a Halsamno here. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but why do I care? It's just a nugget. And we are going to stick them in there, and they are going to get to producing nice, nice hot food for everybody. We have the power off on this engineer, so it's not using water. Please note that your buildings have a little water usage meter right about here. That'll tell you how much of your water you're sucking out. But right now, our water production is about 60 right now, and we're only using about 15. 
I think we're doing pretty good. Plus two, I've built an extra fishing hut up here as well as an extra water pump up here. I'm getting ready to expand. This should be built relatively quickly and come the spring, I should be producing a lot of food. That is once I get the nuggets done up. But for right now, I'm going to call that the first episode of Season 2 of Critebo Games The Universe Sim. I've got all the important links down in the description below. Be sure to check them all out. And uh, if you want to get a hand, uh, get your hands on the copy of this game, guess what? It's coming by this summer to the Steam Early Access platform. You guys are going to be able to get your hands on this alpha release, this brilliant little game. So until next time, I will see you guys in the universe sim. Stay safe, play hard.